Hello guys, this is the second part of Raman training, which will focus on a photoluminescence PL spectra collection and some uh, tricks how to use a uh, joystick and how to change the objectives uh, in the program. To collect PL spectra, you need to use a UV laser, which is 325 nanometers this uh, blue box uh, this is the controller for uh, UV laser simply to start the laser you have to uh, turn the key clockwise from on to off and most importantly you have to wait at least 30 minutes for the laser to be warm up while UV laser under preparation uh, please start the focusing on your uh, sample using 10x objective here you can see the indication which objective is in current use check if this 10x objective is selected on on the stage as well the procedure is similar as for the raman collection first you need to use the joystick to focus on your surface you may use the turbo to make it faster um, with current you can see that the background starts to be too white. You can use Y button to auto brighten it. You can continue to focus on your surface by going down. You may see that something might appear like this. You check if it's surface, it seems it moves. So this is the surface of our material. You may use also after focus by using and pressing the button X make sure you read clearly the message on the window verify selected objective if it's 10x if it's yes press a to enable and then it will after focus on your surface after this you have to change the objective to a uv so by pressing a button it will open this window in which you can select uv uh, objective this is only uh, 15x to choose this, you press A, and here new window will pop up, which will ask you to retract the uh, stage in order to have a free movement of the thread that you don't hit your sample. So we uh, recommend you to retract three times by pressing Y button. This is one time, again, second time, and sort time. After this, you don't close this window, you go to the turret and you turn in order to select 15x uh, UV uh, objective. So to choose new objective, you have to remove the safety lead gently. Then make sure that first selected objective is 10, 10x and then you move to the 15x UV objective. So by holding on top or part of the turret, you turn it gently, holding until the end. Yeah, very good. Then you come back to the screen and you have to press next step. So you press A and then it appears the message objective compensation distance is very high if you selected correctly the objectives like from 10x to 15 you press yes and it proposes you to approach to the distance of 3000 uh, micrometer and finish you accept if everything is correctly done before if not you press finish so we accept with button y and this will go back to our focusing distance. So it will allow us to focus much faster on the surface. You can see on the uh, video control window that there is, uh, we achieved the fo focusing distance. Unfortunately, with UV objective, it's hard to see uh, the surface. So you may move down with the Z knob to look if the picture gets more clear and focused. Seems this is a good point. While you do a visual focusing, you should never put the safety lead back because you need to observe the distance between uh, the objective and the stage. 
and to see if it's uh, really uh, corresponding to what you see on the video control uh, window. Then you have to select the laser uh, 325 from this laser control window. So we use 325 nanometer laser. This is UV laser. What you will see is that you have to wait until the laser is adjusting. And be patient for this. It takes some time. You will see that there is no window for the power adjustment as this is manually adjustable laser. Later, I will show you how to operate. Then on the program, you have to go to configuration, then Raman and choose CCD1 as for uh, UV laser. So click on Raman CCD1. Make sure that here configuration is changed to Raman CCD1. Please be patient and wait until the program finishes adjustment. After this, go to spectrograph one and look where's your spectral center. For PL uh, range, this is usually from uh, 300 to uh, 700 nanometer. Uh, so you should cover this range. We will put 350 nanometers and press enter to accept. Since UV laser is manual, you have to put the safety cover back as soon as you finish your focusing. First, to uh, operate with the UV laser, you have to open the shutter by doing this, by pulling. And to close the shutter, you do the same just by putting in. Also, to operate the UV laser, you have to manipulate with the slit the slit knob is this. By turning this, the knob clockwise, you will close the slit for the laser. So you will have a lower power of the laser. If you turn it anti-clockwise, you will have higher power of the laser. So once the shutter for UV laser is open, you have to stop the illumination here and go to spectrograph to check again the spectral center you want to observe and here that the units in nanometers then you go to oscilloscope and start oscilloscope this will open new window here on the side which will show the spectrum the pl spectrum of your material for example this is gallium nitrate emission to adjust vector uh, response uh, from the photoluminescence, you have to use the Z knob and to go up or down to focus on the material. You will see that the intensity will grow. You may normalize this to see a nice spectrum once you're satisfied with your ratio of noise to the signal you can stop oscilloscope you can go to single spectrum and change the integration time to 0 0.1 similar as you had in the oscilloscope and our number of accumulation to the five after this you go on top and click Accumulate Single Spectrum. So once the spectrum is accumulated, it will appear in Project Manager. You can review your data and as well the information file. To save the project, you go to File, Save Project As, and you go to your folder in the data D disk. After you finish your measurements, you have to close the shutter of UV laser. 
and switch off the laser by turning key from on to off. Once the shutter of UV laser is off, you can turn on the illumination on your sample. And to finish, you have to press A and to go back to object, Objective 10X. Please select the Objective 10X by pressing A. And when you finish the measurement, you have to retract always four times by pressing button Y four times. One, two, three, four. After this, you can remove the safety lid by pulling towards yourself and by holding the turret, turn to, to the 10x. After that, you press on A next. Objective compensation distance is very high. You say yes. And instead of pressing approach and, fission, uh, and finish on Y, you press finish. This will not do approaching towards your stage. Only after you can take the tweezers and remove your uh, sample from the stage by pushing on the side. After that, you can put back the safety lid again. When you finish the measurement, you always leave the program on. The only things you have to empty your project manager after you saved your project uh, data. So you clean here by pressing delete and that's it.